Lady Pruitt here and welcome to Let's Talk. So I am finishing up my series on must reads, uh, books that I love to read while I am traveling or um, I'm on the plane going somewhere. So anyway, the final book that I want to talk to you about and if you, most people that know me very well know that this is my favorite book. Um, because I talk about it all the time. And this book is a fantastic piece of literature that was written thousands of years ago. It's ancient lit literature, but it was written by some wonderful scholars. And the more I read it, the more I want to read it. I have read it several times, but it's not just a book that you just read and put down. It's a book that you pick up and read again and read again. And every time you go back, you find there's something more in it. So the my favorite book is the Old Testament. Yes, and please don't shut me off. I'm not gonna preach to you. I'm only gonna explain to you why this is my favorite book. I absolutely love the Old Testament. I really, really got into it uh, several years ago when I started reading and I found out that it's so interesting because it has so much, it has mystery, has intrigue, probably just about any genre you can think about, it's in there. Um, it has the most fabulous stories. I love hearing stories and I love telling stories and stories are what stick with me. So, which is why I absolutely love the Old Testament. I love the whole Bible, but the Old Testament is my absolute, absolute favorite. Um, and it is, it's so funny because I used to think that, oh, you know, these were ancient writers and how much would they really know? You know, I thought that like literary styles were invented during modern times, but to think that these were scholars from so, so many years ago using primitive tools to put this book together in such a wonderful fashion. I love all the stories, all the way from Genesis to Malachi. Um, my favorite book out of the Old Testament book, some of my favorite books, because um, there's a lot of favorites there. Of course, Genesis, because it covers so much history. And let me tell you, the Old Testament, if you think of it as a whole, as a book, it is, it tells a story. It's a love story. It's a great love story of a God who fell in love with his creation. That's what the basic story is. It's an overarching story. You'll find a God that fell in love with creation. And even though creation messed up, he still wanted to have a relationship with them. So he went through great lengths to be able to restore that relationship with them. He didn't just toss them to the side because they messed up, but he says, I want to have a relationship with my creation so badly that I'm gonna keep working with them and keep working with them no matter how many times they mess up, no matter how many times they turn away from me, how, no matter how many times they reject my love, I am still going to love them. I'm still gonna work with them. I am still going to look out and provide for them. That's one of the main reasons why I love it. And then of course the stories, when he goes through the different stories in the Bible, the different uh, people in the Bible, and I don't like to call them characters so much because characters seem to be something you find in a movie or just in a book, but these were real live people who actually lived um, these lives. And another wonderful thing about the story is it doesn't just tell us all the good things that uh, the people did, but it tells you their frailties, their failures, their huge failures sometimes. And um, uh, because the Lord really wanted to leave that in there for us. And the other thing is that he went through such great lengths, not to just, to also put it in our hands so many thousand years ago to put it where we can still have it, where we can still go back to it, where we can still go back and read the stories and connect with them and connect with the people uh, in there and how they lived and with their failures and their triumphs and their ups and their downs. 
that's why I love the Old Testament. So anytime I get a chance, you will find me reading some book in the Old Testament because it's such a wonderful, wonderful story. And it's a unified story put together and the Lord put it in our hands. So I am thankful. So again, you must, you must, must, must. And I save the best for last. You must, when you get the opportunity, read the Old Testament. It is the most wonderful read and it's a life changing read and it's a read that you can go back and reread over and over again it is the most beautiful beautiful piece of literature that i have ever encountered thank you so that is my final series uh final in this series of uh great and must reads so great books this month Hope you take the opportunity to read some of the ones that I mentioned. Anyway, stay tuned next month where I will be talking about another topic. God bless. Bye-bye.